What is going on guys, Mr. Bazy here, and today we're going to be doing some more Crusaders of the Lost Idols today, actually working with the event yet again. Now we have a few days left and I plan on grinding super hard now, so we're just going to go ahead and do a reset right here. I wanted to just be here like before I did the reset because I wanted to show you guys kind of my formation. Um, obviously it's nothing spectacular, I, I just needed to... Uh, this particular time I did optimize for my DPS. I made sure that it was the absolute best it could be so that over time I would be able to, you know, uh, not have to worry so much. Because again, the, this this particular one with the bears, you know, you can't kill the bears. So you have to make sure that you're, at, you're like pretty much killing these guys as fast as possible. Like that always has to be happening for you to really uh, have a, a easy time with this particular objective. Because it can be kind of hard and you do have to actually, you know, really keep an eye on it, you know, you can't just like leave it alone because the bears will actually get to you most of the time before you're able to get whatever stuff, unless it's like a kill objective, but if it's like something like this, like it's time for vacation, fill out the vacation request form, you know, the bears are going to get to you before you're able to do that, it's just, it's just like, look at it, it has, it's not even on the screen yet, and they're already about to hit my, my formation, so this is one of those things that I would have needed to scroll over, like right now, see, I need to scroll over it, otherwise the bears, I'm going to get dominated before I can even grab that request form. So you do kind of have to be pretty diligent with this particular section. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that's what I did. I didn't worry about gold. Gold's pretty much a given with Santa and the Leprechaun. It's pretty easy to get gold. You don't need to really worry about it. So we're going to be doing a reset. Okay, I did get a little further while I was talking because I wanted to kind of maximize my idols even though I don't really need to. And we're going to do this last event. Now, I'm not going to go all the way to the end to completion, but we're going to see what kind of uh, people, uh, you know, crusaders I can get into the formation and uh, essentially you know, what formation I'm going to need to do. It doesn't seem that hard. This this seemed like the harder objective, honestly, um, because of the diligence needed to actually go about doing it. But this one seems pretty cool. Like, it, it says the pack horses take up two slots. Unfortunately, <clears throat> it takes up... I was talking about this before. It does take up the one slot that I would need for Larry the Leprechaun. So that, cause, that does kind of suck a bit, but... Again, if I put him right here, he'll still be touching four people, so it's not too bad. I'm, I'm missing out on one person, but that's, that's not too bad. Okay, we're only going to get to 23. We only need two more levels, but... All we need is, I mean, we pretty much have almost what this thing benefits, which is decreases how much you need by half. We almost have half. It's not going to take that much more idols. And then after that, we're going to really branch out and do a bunch of this other stuff. So look forward to that. It's going to be pretty cool. We're going to get a bunch of the other stuff that's, that really helps, like the DPS increases for, for the three slots and for the enchantment point effectiveness and all that stuff. It's going to be pretty cool. And as we go on, of, of course, we'll get to these eventually down here. First and foremost, I should have said this like way back, but I, I just now recalled it because I started thinking about uh, the giveaway and stuff like that. So the giveaway last time, there was a little bit of some discrepancies with the codes and everything. Uh, I think they just expired because no one had claimed them for so long. So they just kind of expired over time because no one was using them. Uh, but I'm telling you, within like minutes of contacting the... Uh, I believe it's the marketing manager, uh, is, you know, Clive Gorman, he's, he's on, he's on Twitter, you know, go follow him, put it, I'll put his Twitter right here on the screen. Um, but literally within minutes of contacting him, he was, he was on it, he was generating more codes and the, the most amazing news behind this, and there's more amazing news in the future that I'm not sure if I can talk about because it's not like finalized, uh, but it's really cool stuff in the future. You think what I'm about to tell you is cool, just wait, because it's going to be, it's going to be. Oh, it, it's gonna be great. All right, just just hold on, hold your pants, okay? Don't take them off yet. Don't take them off in general, but you know, keep them on. Tighten your belt. So what's gonna be happening, or what did happen, was he generated 50 new codes. 50, okay? They're brand new, fresh out the computer, okay? That means that I get to, do, you know, especially now that the list has been reconfigured for people that are at like, you know, I know that they're watching because they're very recent ads and people that have been in this for a long time with their names uh, for like, you know, crazy amount of times. Uh, it's, it's amazing. Like, this is going to be great because those of you that have been watching are going to have amazing chances to get this and we're going to have codes for a long time because uh, we're, we're going to be doing two giveaways each episode. You know, each episode of Crusaders, we're, we're going to do two giveaways. So it's, it's phenomenal. Big shout out to that guy. He's amazing. Everyone at the Crusaders Idols team is amazing and no there's no other reason that i'm saying that aside from the fact that they i mean i've been telling you guys they've been hooking you up now what is this if not getting hooked up i mean seriously dude oh it's i was i was i was like i was floored like it was amazing um and the main reason is because you know i love giving back to you guys like i want to be able to give back to you guys and of course 
that's a massive help where, you know, they're able to do things like that and, you know, give back to the community of, you know, the people that play Crusaders, but in turn are also giving, you know, I, I'm able to give back to you guys for being awesome sages. So it's, it's just a win-win for everybody. It's really awesome. Um, I could go ahead and buy the seven chests again. There's two reasons I'm not gonna. One, because, uh, one and, and more importantly, because I do want to see how much I can get just with grinding alone. Like, how much could you really get if you put as much time to it as possible? And the reason, the only reason I, I have so many right now is because I wanted to wait so I wasn't, like, held back because the previous event, I was so on top of it that it took a while for me to accumulate the, 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 the marshmallow or whatever it was before. I think firecrackers or whatever, uh, or fireworks. Like, I was so on top of it that it just, I kept running out and... You know, it kind of slowed my pace, and I kind of like to just keep going and going and going and going. That's how I prefer to play it, and so that's why they're they're stacked up like that. Don't worry, they'll they'll be cleaned out, um, and you know, with, within the last little bit of time that we've got left, which is like a day and a half, pretty much. So let's buy the edible receivers, which luckily we were able to get just now, and let's start setting up for the objective or for the uh, formation we're gonna need because it's it's gonna be crazy. So I'm gonna put Groglog here and there, and we'll buy her for now because we don't have Witch yet, so she's kind of like the second best. Billy Smithsonian ended up in the back before because I wanted to make sure he stayed alive so I could get the doubles as long as possible in the previous one with the uh, with the big, with the uh, the bears, because I didn't want him close to the front because then it would basically hinder my, you know, if I, if I really needed like a double <laughs> to save my life, he was the guy to do it, so. I wanted to uh, put him in the back, and you may have noticed before that he was back there. But yeah, oh, oh, you know, while while I'm doing this, while I'm setting up the the formation here, uh, I kind of want to do a little a little story time, okay? Because there's a couple things that were funny that happened to, today today in specifically. Okay, I know the video didn't go up today, like when I recorded it, uh, but today is like what is today? The 31st, okay? Or no, I'm sorry, it was the 30th, okay? When this happened, and. Um, we basically went to a movie today, saw Jason Bourne, it was pretty awesome, okay, it was a pretty, pretty good movie if you're, if you're, if you're looking for a good action movie, we also did just get the Act of Congress, so that should be nice. Um, but yeah, so, we saw Jason Bourne, and on the way back, okay, literally, uh, I was playing Pokemon on the way back, and I, I wasn't driving, so don't worry, but, on the way back, I was, I was, I, I saw Pokestop, you know, I was like, alright, I'm gonna get it, it's like one on the way, on the way home to, uh, from my house, and, Literally, as it was zooming in to like grab the stuff at the Pokestop, I saw a Venusaur pop up. It was like, either a Venusaur or it was an Ivysaur, but it looked a lot like a Venusaur. Like I saw it literally for a split second, and then I was I was so super, super pumped. I like like literally almost screamed Venusaur because my brother was playing it too, and you know, I, I exit out of the Poke Pokestop and the dude just vanishes like he's Harry Houdini or something. So that kind of it kind of got me jostled. Okay, already on the way, like literally on the turn down my street. My brother says, Snorlax, okay? And I'm like, of course, a after missing the, the Venusaur, I'm like, well, thank goodness, at least I get something, right? Because we saw Snorlax was in the area for a long time. And, and he's, you know, he's like, Snorlax. And I'm like, oh, sweet. But like, he just didn't pop up for me. And I, I like, I, 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 you know, I told the person that was driving, I said, stop right here, I'll just get out. Because it was, it literally, it was like turning down the street. So I was like, yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll linger here for a little bit and hopefully find something, you know, find a Snorlax because he wasn't even popping up on my map. I reloaded my game, I did everything, and I just didn't get it. And I was like, dude, it was just so disheartening. Like, obviously it's just Pokemon and all that stuff, but I mean, like Venusaur, it could have been an Ivysaur. Don't, don't quote me on Venusaur, but I thought it was, it looked like a Venusaur, it was pretty big. And, and then a Snorlax right after that, both of which like just, I, I like literally the, the game scrubbed me up. It pretty much did. So, I don't know, I thought that was pretty funny, but another little piece of cool news, uh, just uh, like 30 minutes ago, uh, from recording this, uh, video, my brother actually ended his very first live stream. Um, I'll talk to him whether or not he's gonna make it public or not, if he does, I'll put it in the comment section down below, as well as the description. Um, but it was pretty cool, like, he, he was telling me, oh, you know, I'm, he, was, he was really bored and whatnot, uh, and I was like, dude, you know, you, you know, cause, if you're really bored, you know, you could either do YouTube, because that's definitely going to occupy you, or you could stream, like, you could stream, because, like, you know, basically a lot of his friends are sleeping, or, or whatever, right? Like, even if he has friends around, like, he plays the same games all the time, it's kind of boring. But if, when you stream something, like, you're kind of inviting a bunch of other friends. Like, I always loved streaming, and that's why I want to get back into it really soon. Um, I just really got to find the time for it, because with streaming, you know... I was able to kind of converse, conversate with everybody, and it was just, it was really fun. It was more of a group activity than just a singular, like, event, you know what I mean? Um, so, you know, it, it was really cool. I suggested it to him. I helped him get it, get it set up, and 
I mean, he was awesome. I, I was really surprised at how well he did. So, uh, big shout out to him. Um, hopefully, he'll make it public and or edit what he has recorded and make a highlights video. Uh, whatever he, but regardless of what he does, uh, it's worth watching. It's worth checking out. And um, I'll leave his I'll leave his channel link in the description down below. And I'll also put it right up here on the screen if you want to uh, subscribe to him. I don't know how often he's going to do it. You know, he said he'd probably do it more often because like whenever he's playing games, because he does play games a lot. So there's no point in not streaming it if you're going to play the game, you know? Um, so who knows? I'm, I just figured I'd shout that out because I thought that was awesome. Like I did watch the whole thing and it was actually entertaining. He was playing Unturned and I don't even like Unturned. Like it's not that I don't like it. I just don't play it. I don't know what it's about. And personally, it's not my cup of tea, but it was fun watching him. I got to admit. All right. Once we actually get the formation set up, I will go ahead and do the giveaway. All right. Which I'm super stoked about. I mean, like I said, I, uh, the fact that we have, uh, I mean, I did give some codes to the winners. By the way, there's some people that didn't claim their code. Um, one of which was the, hold on, let me, let me, let me pull up the, I have, I have the word document right here. Can I, you know, I'll move it over here. You guys can see it. Uh, Valisense, this guy right here. He has not claimed his code yet, but he did win last time. As you, and uh, by the way, the way I'm working with it, I, I was going to explain it later, but I might as well explain it right now. Um, you know, when it comes to the giveaway, if you do win, your entries will be deducted by half plus one. So he had eight entries in there. So I took out four entries and I took out an additional one. And that's simply because I want them to still have the benefit of like being really long time watchers. Um, but, but of course, give you guys a better chance. The people that haven't won give you guys a better chance. So they do have the potential to win again, but again, we have 50 codes. I feel like the way that I've done it is is fair for both sides, fair for both parties, so that, you know, they don't have to completely re-enter. You know, it's like they're like losing all of their progress. And those of you that have, of course, not been selected yet still have massive amounts of entries, like, you know, <clears throat> and Cameron Padua, but he had eight entries. He was deducted. Um... Dr. Banana Man, you know, a lot of people that, that have a bunch of entries. How do I like J Jesper Van Sh uh, Shake, I believe. Uh, John Nicholson, and this is this should be a capital J. Um, but who, who else? There's someone else here that um, that won. Oh, ben this guy, Benito Nardun. He had two entries. I took one out, so he's he's only got one entry. But he did win. I'm pretty sure last time. Uh, so Valisens and Benito, both of you guys did win. So. If you're watching, claim, make sure you claim your code in the comments down below. I just want to make sure you're, you're going to use it. I'm pretty sure Valisense will, but Benito only had two entries, so I want to make sure he's still watching. Um, and either way, I'm going to treat you guys fairly. So you do you do stuff to claim your, co your code, Valisense, in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, pretty cool stuff. We have, you know, obviously, as you can see, a much more clean list. All right, much people that are, you know, very prominent and watching within the community. Um... That's kind of how I wanted it to be. You know, of course I want to include everybody, but there was obviously a very large majority that stopped watching, which I'm cool with, you know, they, they lose interest in the series for whatever reason. But I, I don't want them having to sit there and then like, I'm drawing their name and that nothing's happening. You know what I mean? That's just, it's pointless for the people that are actually watching consistently. Um, what, what's going on with this? So yeah, that's how we're going to do it. Your entries will be deducted by half plus one. I didn't take out Benito's plus one because it would have been like half plus one. He just has no entries anymore. <laughs> so I, I didn't think that was necessarily fair. He's only got one entry in now. Um, but yeah, Ray won last time. Cameron Paduba won the, the video before. He got his code. Um, and the Voltic Umbreon got his code too. So those are the three people that have claimed part of the 50 codes that were generated so far. Uh, and we're also going to be doing the giveaway very, very soon. By the way, Voltic Umbreon, if you're watching, uh, the, the likelihood is so slim. But did you used to play Halo Reach before with a pro player. Just wondering, because I'm pretty sure I saw something Umbreon, and I'm just I, I'm just curious. Like, I know the chances are extremely slim that that would be you, but if it is, that's pretty cool, okay? That's pretty, like, a pro player ninja from, Halo, from the, from uh, you know, the Halo series. Just let me know. <laughs> I'm just wondering. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump to the giveaway right now. Here we go. Alrighty, so here we are at the giveaway. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the episode thus far. Again, here are the names. I'm just going to scroll really quickly. I showed them before, but you guys can check it out and just make sure you're here and all that stuff. As I said before, the winners of the giveaway will have their name reduced. Okay, so like, for example, as a great example, San Bisa, uh, Bands, okay, he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 entries, so 5 entries would be deducted if he were to win, plus another one, so he would essentially end up with 4 entries left. 
So a pretty significant reduction, but again, he did win the code. So he's still in the giveaway raffle. He just has a little bit of a less chance of getting it again, you know, because I don't want the, I don't want there to be too easy of a chance to win it again. You know, I think it just, it does need to be fair, but I want to cater to both of you guys. I want to cater to the people that have been watching for a long time and have been able to accumulate 10 entries, <laughs> which is crazy. That's literally 10 videos, guys. For those of you that, that uh, you know, it's, it's one entry per new video. So it's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, uh, I want to make sure that um, you guys both get compensated. So with that being said, again, I do want to talk uh, very briefly again uh, about ch going over and checking out the Crusaders website. All right, the website over at Codename Entertainment. Uh, link will be in the description. It is my link. It'll let them know that I sent you. Again, really awesome stuff over there. Forum posts on, uh, you know, um, strategies and formation, different formations you could use with different types of Crusaders, all that stuff. I mean, and, you know, news, upcoming events, things, things like that. You know, there's like a, a special code giveaway thing that's going on right now, which I, I, I don't, I didn't get any, I, I signed up and liked their thing on Facebook. I didn't get an email with the code and I, I, I obviously am following them on Twitter, I think. Um, so yeah, I want to make sure I, I get all the codes. Cause there's supposed to be like a, a secret, like a super secret code at the end. If you collect all three codes, you get like a fourth, like, like special code. I don't know what it is, of course, but it, I, you know, I mean, I'm assuming it's cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want it regardless. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the giveaway again. Those are your names. Good luck to everyone that entered. Here we go. We're going to find the first giveaway winner right here. Three, two, one. There it is. Her Hero, I'm assuming. Herjo. Her Her um, but in any case, congratulations. Drop your comment down below letting me know you won so I can, of course, congratulate you and everyone else can congrat congratulate you. And to let me know that you're claiming your code, I'll send your code to your YouTube private message system like inbox. So make sure that's all squared away in your Google Plus settings. Make sure that's turned on. You'll get your code regardless, whether it's Twitter or your Steam messages or, or whatever. Uh, I'll get your code to you regardless. But YouTube messaging is this is the easiest way because the moment I see, okay, hey, you know, you claimed your code. I can just shoot you a message and it'll, you know, it'll be a done deal. You just got to let me know if it worked or not. And that's, that's, um, you know, as far as we can take it. So congratulations. Let's go ahead and jump back to the game. All right. So I do kind of want to get to uh, area about a hundred. I think I want to get a third way through the event for the actual video. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about some of the cool stuff that's going to be happening. Cause there's some really cool stuff. I mean, I was kind of really uh, not taken back, but like, like shocked with the proposal when they, when, when uh, Clive Gorman, specifically the guy that uh, hooked you guys up with all those codes did come to me with a, with a cool offer. All right. A really, really cool proposal. Uh, again, I'm not sure how much I can disclose because I don't know whether it's, it's verified or whether it's like, you know, finalized. I don't know whether it's actually going to happen or not, but if it does, it's going to be really cool. Um, it'll kind of, segue me back into streaming maybe i'm not gonna make promises i don't know if that's the way i'm gonna do it but i'd kind of like to i think it would be really really fun all right um so i kind i'm 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 really hoping it it turns out and I'm hopefully i i decide to go with what i'm thinking of doing with the streaming and again i'm not promising that i'll come back full force with streaming but lately i've just been like you know what <clears throat> i feel like i do kind of want to stream a bit more again and i've i've been wanting to kind of be back into that. I really like the environment. I really enjoyed doing that stuff live and hanging out with you guys. And I think, you know, that me setting up my brother's stream uh, the other day, or I guess today, just a little bit ago, um, you know, helping him set it up and watching him stream, it really kind of made me realize how much I really miss it. Cause you know, I don't, I don't get to play as many shooter games as much anymore. I, I do record videos of it from time to time, but I don't get to play as many shooter games anymore. And I think that's simply because of the fact that, um, not many people really enjoy that on my content on my channel, which is a shame because I really enjoy posting it. Um, but yeah, like, like multiplayer shooters, I'm not talking about like storyline based shooters or anything like that. But, you know, I'd really like to do it. I think there's some cool, unique opportunities. And of course, I'm always going to do stream highlights and post those to you on my channel as well. And stuff like that. I'm not sure whether I'll post the entire video of the stream because I'm, I'm planning, if I'm going to stream again, I'm planning on doing it through YouTube. I think <clears throat> there's a lot more to benefit when it comes to YouTube. And I think that I'd rather have it all on one platform than have it split between Twitch and YouTube. Twitch is great. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I love it. Um, there's a lot of cool things you can do on Twitch that you can't do on YouTube, but there's also a lot of cool things that YouTube offers that Twitch just doesn't, especially if you're not partnered, 
that's the one thing that kind of got me. So it's just kind of a shame that, that, it, that you have to really kind of have so much, so much prestige on Twitch to be able to do simple things like that. But that's what YouTube would offer, like be able, like allow me to do, you know what I mean? It'd be really cool. Plus if, if you guys, if anybody new or, or anybody else comes to the channel or whatever, for, for whatever game we're playing, they can just sub to the channel and then boom, they, they have access to all my videos too, which they would have anyway, of course, but you know, they, they would join the Sage community at that point. They wouldn't just be joining like the Twitch side of my Sage community. They'd be joining the actual Sage community where it actually started. And it's like the main, it's the core thing. It's like the headquarters, you know what I mean? This is the headquarters. Um, so it's pretty cool. So I, I mean, it's personally something I'm really interested in. I want to get back into it. Hopefully this, th this, uh, proposal does come to fruition. I'd really, and it has a lot. Okay. And I'm, I'm saying, I, I don't know, you know, how far, you know, they can actually take this. And again, I can't, I'm being vague on purpose. Okay. But I'm telling you right now. All right. It's going to benefit you guys like massively. All right. Like huge insane kind of benefit all right um so it would be really cool if this comes to if this actually comes to be a thing oh it's gonna be on it's gonna be great i, I can't wait <laughs> i really can't and it should be a, it's gonna be a long if it does happen it's gonna be a long stream i can guarantee that and it's gonna be a lot it's gonna be a lot of fun it's gonna be a lot of fun um and the one thing i think i can disclose is if it does happen it's probably gonna happen sometime around the next event so when the next event happens on crusaders um I'll have to like shoot them some emails and, and talk to them about like kind of when that's going to happen so I can kind of plan for it um, because I don't want it to blindside me and like of course me having the demand for seduce me and some adventure capitalist videos here and there and and, and geometry dash which you know is, is is obviously in very high demand and I've kind of had, had that on the wayside for a while so I do apologize for that and Pokemon Go I still really want to do Pokemon Go and that next spot I'm totally wanting to do that I already kind of kind of have a fourth episode spot planned out but definitely third episode I can't wait to be there it's going to be really good it's it's it instead of nature which has been the first two episodes it's going to focus more on architecture and I think that's going to be really cool I really can't wait to be there um, and and do the episode there it's a really really nice environment the architecture is wonderful so again, playing into the whole theme of, you know, the location really matters with the Pokemon Go episodes. I think it makes a big difference. So with that being said, let's buy into Queen Siri. Can we buy your money thing? 15.6 quintillion increases all gold. Oh, you know, yeah, we'll definitely get that. Yeah, we'll definitely get that. We just got to wait a little bit, but we got to see, see, the, see the doubles. This makes a huge difference. I mean, it, it literally speeds us through levels like, like no one's business. Did we just get it? We did. All right, so let's go uh, in reverse. Oh, you know what? I have an omission that I got I to gotta use this. The Queen's queen's degree or whatever uh i have i have a little thing oh wait what happened oh there it is i gotta use it one more time to get 10 gems i gotta use storm rider twice and i gotta level up fire phoenix 25 times it's like nothing why didn't i do that yet <laughs> let me let me go ahead and use this oh wait, i gotta i gotta move her in here that would, that would probably help where's the breadstick kid i know you're here somewhere i took him out already what are you doing here snake weirdo uh, so yeah, so it bumped our DPS a little bit. Why don't we have like massively good DPS? Are we missing somebody? Are we, mi are we missing somebody? I don't think we're missing anybody. We have, we have Brute, right? Brute's in here. We have Smithsonian. Larry Leprechaun's in here with all of his upgrades. <clears throat> Maybe it has something to do with the fact that, uh, Larry Leprechaun's kind of missing two extra people that he could potentially be benefiting from, so maybe that has a little bit to do with it. Wow, so if you look at these, these speed buffs only last a couple minutes. The the pheromones last an hour. And the one that I used for the event... Wait, no. You know, that lasted an hour, too. I was going to say it lasted two hours, but that's not true. Uh, but this one, they the most the, the most like amazing one, the rare one, lasts 50... I mean, I'm sorry, 7 minutes and 30 seconds. It's like nothing. So... Very surprising. The pheromones is a massive clutch factor if you use it correctly, and I plan to if this thing actually happens. I'm I'm pumped. If it happens, it's going to be so so awesome. I mean, I'm I'm really going to try to stream it and uh, make make it a reality. Um, th just so you know, if I do end up streaming it, it will probably I'll, I'll I'll probably pick up the stream like already like really far like not far into it, but decently into it into the event. You know what I mean? Uh, so hopefully it comes out like in the morning or something so I can actually stream it. It doesn't come out like later in the evening because then, you know, the stream's going to go on well into the night, probably like into the early morning. So hopefully it happens sometime at a reasonable time, you know what I'm saying? So I can actually 
document most of my progress. So it'll be pretty cool. But uh, let me know. Uh, I'm also going to make a, a video very soon. I did promise to do Dead by Daylight. So I'm is it Dead by Daylight? Yeah, Dead by Daylight. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be getting that game and and making a series on it. Um, I did promise to do it. A lot of people thought they'd be very interested in it. I'm also going to be making a video where I want your suggestions. Okay, I'm gonna look through all your suggestions. I'm gonna take them very very seriously and look at what series you guys want me to do. If I see a multitude of the same suggestion, of course I'll consider those more heavily, and I'll also throw in a couple of my personal uh, suggestions on games that I'm looking at, and you know. We can run through it like that. Now, I know I already have a previous little selection of games to do, and I'll probably be doing those very heavily. Like, I know Outlast was very heavily requested. People wanted me to do Outlast after I finished doing um, Undertale, which nobody watched Undertale, so, like, <laughs> I don't know why so many people voted it, but I'm going to be doing Outlast next. I think people really enjoy that because it's, like, a really shit-your-pants scary horror game, and I really enjoy those kinds of things. Um, for those of you that don't know, I've done a bunch of them in the past. Uh, a very old series of mine was... Um, Among the Sleep, that's a pretty cool game. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it was really cool for the beginning of my channel, like kind of like around when I initially started. I really enjoyed doing that. Um, and then uh, freaking Spooky House of Jump Scares. That was amazing. I loved doing that game. That game was freaking awesome. Uh, and I've done a couple horror games uh, in addition to those since then. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. I mean, like we, have, I, I really plan to kind of just branch out at this point. Um, I'm still going to be doing those other series as well, but you know, I do, I, the whole point of my channel is diversity. I will also be doing some more shooting content as well. I know I've promised that for a while, but I'm just going to really just jump into it. Uh, and, and I'd love to have the majority of the shooting content be featured in a live stream. Like I would like to do that. That'd be really, really nice. Um, cause I like, I just like the environment of multiplayer shooter games and live streaming. It just, it's, it just feels, feels nice to me. Like having everyone just gather around and chill and just, you know, destroy some people <laughs> pretty much. Go to the shop. Five bucks. All right, for the three chest one. We gotta get, we gotta buy this too. Oh, I forgot about this. We're getting two free. But see, that's the thing. I don't necessarily know if I want to buy the event chests. Like, I'm so I'm just, I I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> I don't know if I want to buy the event chests or what. Like I said, I do understand that the that the that. The, the event crusaders aren't that great. We have uh, Ranger Reina swaps with the princess, and you swap with the Thunder King. Okay, so oh yeah, people were kind of complaining about that too, because especially people that were new, new to the game, uh, that is actually pretty pretty significant. You know, that's a pretty significant change. I remember Princess was huge in my early game, and th I didn't use Thunder King too much, but Princess was big in my in my early game. So um, let's go ahead and swap. Robo Turkeys is in the section. I really like Robo Turkey. Uh, Ranger Reina. Let's go and swap. And let's buy you out. And let's see. That sounded just terrible. <laughs> we're just buying Ra Ranger Reina out. Uh, okay, so we're, let's see what she does. We'll rule over all this land and we will call it this land. That's phenomenal. This, I mean, why not, right? Um, <clears throat> Daily Patrol. Increase the base DPS of Ranger Reina. All right. Recreation. If you're not, if you've, if you're God Parks, you should have some recreation. If your got parks, is that the typo? <laughs> Increase the base DPS of Ranger Reina. Okay. My animal friends empower me. 20% uh, for each animal crusader in the formation. That would not work well for me at all. I have none. Um, heals animal crusaders for 25% of their max health per second. Eh. I mean, it I works for the Bigfoot. They work well together, I guess. Okay, so that's the Firestorm. Increase uh, Princess Reina. I'm like a Disney princess. Increase the Ranger Reina's DPS by 200% if there are at least four animals. So this is heavily in, of, like revolving around animal crusaders. And that kind of, kind of, you know, this person might work well at the beginning stage of crusaders because you've got the griffin, the lion, the panda. Uh, who else? Who else is the beginning stage? You've got some, some other people too. I just forget. But uh, yeah, those three... Are right off the bat. Those are those are the prominent ones I remember. <clears throat> so, so range. I could see how I can see why people are complaining about that. Like that's not that great. But I, I I could see where it could be useful as well. But it's pretty situational. It's not it's not something that's like you know pops out like oh my god that's amazing. Like when I got Santa, uh, I was I, I was hitting the floor. Okay, like literally uh, my cheeks like slapped the slapped the floor and then like like rubber banded right back up to where they're supposed to be. Cause that was amazing. I, I was freaking ecstatic when I got Santa, uh, or when I found out what he did, especially when I got this, cause that was, 
Well, that was a treat. Um, but who, who does this other guy swap with? I forget. I already forgot. Shit. All right, little foot. Let's see what you got. You're supposed to be a long necked dinosaur, but I'll let you go for now. Thick fur. Claws of enemy. No hurt little foot. All right. Health of little foot by 50%. Little foot frightened tiny enemies with scary roar. Increase the base DPS. Little enemies so slow, little foot dodge their puny attacks. Little foot is immune to damage for one second after an enemy starts attacking her. It's a her. If this effect lasts uh, for more than 15 seconds in a row, it cannot occur for the next 15 seconds. Little foot called down thunder upon all. It's a magical freaking Bigfoot. All right. Uh, no, so little anymore. Now call me medium foot. <laughs> what? Increase the base DPS of all creatures by 10%. Oh, I, this is kind of bad too. Uh, people look for little foot long time, but never find. Increase the DPS by, oh, so, so like a 30, wait, what? Increase the DPS of all creatures by 10% for each point of XP that little foot has. Actually, that could be kind of good. Point of XP, it's this. Experience point. So if you're on a huge grind, like if your grind is massive, like I don't know, if you're like super late game and you go for a long time and it's gonna take you maybe a day or two to reset, I don't even know if that's possible. It probably is, to be honest. So if you if, if your grind is that significant, or if you're just kind of I guess wait, does that is that stack? Oh wait, hold on. It doesn't say it has a cap. It doesn't say it has a cap. So if you leave your thing grinding for a long time. Uh, that's kind of good, like, 10% for each XP that Littlefoot has, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not, like, amazing, you will have to wait a while for it to really kind of stack up and be crazy. But, I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt, because it's not that great, okay, it's not. The reality of it is, it's not that great. But, realistically, I could kind of see how it'd be, it'll be alright, you know, like, a little bit, especially if you don't have any event crusaders, that kind of that's kind of good, you know. I mean, for me, it's not that great because I have pretty much I have everybody except the first two, but I don't even think we were able to get them, uh, you know, because it was it wasn't released yet or something. I don't know. I think it was only on concrete at that time, but you know, for me, it's not that great. But for someone who's just starting, that might be a beneficial swap, especially for me if I was you know just starting the game. I didn't use Ta Talia the Thunder King a lot. Like I didn't like him. Oh, he wasn't that great for me. People told me to use him all the time, and I'm sure it would have I would have benefited by using him, but I didn't like using him. He just, I just didn't. I had a much better, you know, group of people and, and combination that I thought worked well for me. So, if I if if it was that time for me, I would probably pick Littlefoot. Like that would be that wouldn't be a, as bad of a choice for me. So that is pretty much gonna wrap it up. We're pretty much at level 100 by at this point. Uh, let me know what you thought about it. What did you think about the event? Did you enjoy it? There might be one more video of this out. I'm not sure. I don't know. All right. Um, we already we already exa I mean we examined the Crusaders. We talked about a bunch of stuff that I that was that's coming up. Uh, we have the giveaway to do in just one second, so I'll jump back to that in a minute. Um, you know, the shout out to Clive again. Awesome dude. Uh, everyone at, at the Crusaders team is awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, we pretty much covered everything, you know? Maybe we can just have a chill day. Like, like if, if, I, if I do another episode, which is kind of unlikely, but if I do do another episode, it might be just like a chill episode, you know? Or maybe I'll open the chests in that one. Who knows? Like, maybe on the very last free play I end up doing, because this is the last one, and we'll, we'll definitely beat this. I'm going to make sure I get there. We're still one-tapping. Uh, we, <laughs> we, we weren't even leveling the witch up, and now we're going to be one-tapping forever, because we just leveled her up. A crazy amount and we're gonna get get another one in just one more point like that's it just one more point which is probably this little bit right now actually we're gonna wait a bit so with that being said let's jump to the giveaway and I'll wrap this video up for you guys all right guys welcome to the second half of the giveaway today uh, we're just gonna jump right into it because I already gave the spiel as usual so good luck to everybody yet again three two one there it is Andy McGames the dude who saved Christmas in the adventure capitalist series I mean, I'm glad you're getting rewarded. You got rewarded back then, and I'm glad you're getting rewarded again. You've been a massive contributor to this community. I mean, it's it's insane. So, a uh, big shout out to Andy McGames. Uh, awesome, awesome sage out there. Congratulations. Again, drop your comments down below. Let me know you won. Uh, so, you, so I know you can claim your code and all that stuff, and I'll shoot you your code through your YouTube private message system or whatever way we need to get it to you. It'll be done. Don't worry about it. But 
try to get that all situated so it's it's nice and it's a nice smooth experience but in any case let's jump back to the game hopefully you're enjoying the video so far all right guys so welcome back to the game all right uh lastly again i just want to reiterate keep an eye peeled for that stuff okay because i am super pumped about that if it does come to fruition it's going to be really awesome um aside from that amazing we have 50 more codes to give away you guys are pretty much all consistent watchers uh, which means pretty much every single time we have a video, someone's gonna claim the code. At least one person, I'd, I would, I would go, I would, you know, I would assume that at least one person is gonna at least claim the code each episode. So that's great. You know, we have 50 codes, and and from here on out, I fully expect people to claim their codes and benefit from the fact that the Crusaders guys are awesome and they're hooking you guys up. So with that being said, hopefully you enjoyed uh, really quickly as I wrap this up. If you haven't yet, check out the Pokemon Go series. It's pretty good. I'm going to try to be more consistent with uploading that because it was actually a lot of fun. Um, and I do really enjoy that. It's a very nice change of pace for me personally. I really enjoy doing it. It was a little nerve wracking at first going out and do the public vlog thing. But you know what? Now that I've actually been out for a couple days, it's not that bad. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Um, and sometimes it's a nice conversation starter too. You know, I've had a couple people stop me, ask me what the hell I'm doing. Um, so again, you know, seduce me if you have a more mature palette or you want to see a really good game, because believe it or not, that's not a girly game. It's actually quite good. I mean, it's intended for, for females, but it's actually a very good story. So if you're into drama, all that stuff, it's actually, it, it's pretty killer. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. It's, it's actually quite good. Uh, but with that being said, I hope you enjoyed. Definitely make sure you rate the video, what you think it deserved. If you did enjoy, please consider sharing the video as well. That kind of stuff really helps me out a lot, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or any social media, really, or even word of mouth with your friends. That's really awesome, too. Of course, it directly helps me as well as the entire community and is greatly appreciated. So with that being said, if you want to become a sage in training, make sure you subscribe today. And as always, this has been Mr. Bazy, your favorite sage, and I'll see you in the next video.